Okay, today we're going to be talking about the red blood cell indices and what I like to do to help myself remember them. So MCV, MCH, and MCHC made up of the three numbers, the hemoglobin, the hematocrit, and the red blood cell count. But uh, if you're like me, you don't remember exactly which one goes where, like which values go into which equation and whatnot. So first thing to remember is going to be the time 10 times 10 times 100 of these values. So that you're just going to have to remember that, you know, they're not all times 10. One of them is times 100. And you can help yourself remembering this. You know, another thing to, that is important to remember about these is those reference ranges. And so you can help yourself remember this maybe mid-quiz, mid-exam, doing, uh, if you, you get an MCHC of 3.1, you're like, okay, well, that must be the one that's times 100, not times 10. You know, you multiply that by 100 instead. Now you get 31. And now that's an MCHC, not, you know, the, the times 10. Um, but we also struggle. I also struggle sometimes. I'm like trying to remember like, oh, is it, the, is it the hemoglobin and the hematocrit that makes up the MCHC? You know, which one is which? And you could do it, plug it and chug it and help you with that too. But uh, this is also how I like to remember these. So first of all, we got hemoglobin and that's the top. So hemoglobin is going to be on top in no matter which equation it's in. And uh, red blood cell count, now that's our bottom. So whichever equation red blood cell count is, it's always in the denominator, right? And hematocrit naturally, now that's our switch, right? So hematocrit is going to be topping red blood cell count for the MCV calculation, but it's going to be getting topped up by hemoglobin for our MCHC uh, equation. So there's some tips and tricks and your hot take of the day.